blue lotus tea. Can it really induce euphoria? Is it really an aphrodisiac that helps erectile dysfunction while also easing menstrual pains? Well, find out because I'm going to be reviewing it right here on Catboy Herbal's Nootropic Reviews. According to YouTube's guidelines, videos that attempt to educate are documentary by nature and do not glorify the use of drugs, and both abide by community safety guidelines and are eligible for monetization. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs. Instead, it attempts to be non-biased while delivering vital life-saving information disguised as entertainment. It's whiskey, you villain. You bend my downfall. You beat me and you bang me, but I love you for all. Blue Lotus Tea is a fragrant and mildly intoxicating beverage derived from the blue lily flower. Nelumbo nucifera is an endangered plant. Hmm, an endangered plant. I didn't know that. Historically used for many herbal remedies as an aphrodisiac. It is claimed to benefit sleep, anxiety, and erectile dysfunction. Hmm, benefits. Blue Lotus has been linked with various medicinal purposes across various practices of medicine, including folk medicines, Ayurveda, Chinese traditional medicine, and oriental medicine. Anxiety reduction is the first benefit, sort of like chamomile. Next benefit is the sleep aid property. Blue Lotus contains the compounds nuciferine and aporphine, which help suppress muscle spra spasms. These calming effects may also contribute toward a reduction in gastrointestinal issues. These two alkaloids are known to stimulate dopamine production. Definitely helps me on days when I abstain from my addictions, that's for sure. But I haven't used it as a sleep aid, personally, since I prefer not to drink tea before bed anymore. The, the urination just keeps me up all night. Anyway, next benefit, antioxidants and flavonoids fight free radicals in the body. Free radicals could damage your body's cells. Antioxidant intake is associated with a lower risk of chronic conditions like heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. It's also a natural skin moisturizer and enhances lucid dreaming and dream states in general. Personally, I haven't experienced this uh, for the same reason I haven't used it as a sleep aid because I don't want to be up pissing all night. But I used to lucid dream all the time, actually, without any Blue Lotus, but I found that lucid dream sleep, what well, seems like it's less restful, and it was more fun just to let the dreams flow on their own. My conscious mind isn't capable of matching the power of the non-linear dream state. I don't know about you. Um, next benefit is used as an aphrodisiac and erectile dysfunction. Again, I can definitely vouch for this claim. This tea helped me get in the mood, that's for sure. Alleviates menstrual pain. I have no experience with this, but if you do, please let us know in the comments. Is this true? Next thing, is Blue Lotus tea legal? In most countries, the Blue Lotus plant can be grown, purchased, and consumed. In the US, it is only illegal in Louisiana. The FDA grades the flower as poisonous, but does not classify it as a controlled substance. It is legal in the UK. Poland, Russia, and Latvia classify Blue Lotus as illegal. Well, that's stupid. I wonder why they do that. <laughs> Blue Lotus is not considered a weight loss solution. Okay, remember that. Blue Lotus tea contains zero caffeine. That's a big deal to me. I can't be having caffeine past 12, that's for sure. Side effects. There are no official side effects from Blue Lotus herbal tea, but consuming more than three cups per day could lead to increased heart rate and hot flashes. Avoid drinking with painkillers or other meds, and avoid when pregnant. Not suitable for children and may cause allergies if used on the skin. Don't take this as medical advice. Do your own research. Proceed with caution, but generally, Blue Lotus tea is safe. It's not considered addictive, and is not known to cause dependency or serious adverse issues with health. Based on what I learned from talking to the owner of Crate Day Botanicals, Blue Lotus is a dopamine agonist, a compound that activates dopamine receptors, which may cancel out the, the effects of serotonin release from Kratom and other substances or vice versa. I was also told that drinking 
many such teas at once can sometimes increase the risk of serotonin syndrome. So be warned, serotonin syndrome can occur when you increase the dose of certain medications or add a new drug to your regimen. Too much serotonin causes signs and symptoms that can range from mild, shivering and diarrhea, to severe, muscle rigidity, fever, and seizures. Severe serotonin syndrome can cause death if not treated. But Crate Day Botanicals also told me that some teas, such as Blue Butterfly Pea Tea, actually help enhance the effects of Kratom without increased risk of serotonin syndrome. This particular batch of Blue Lotus Tea is composed of dried purple flower petals, green leaves, beige stems, and yellowy tendrils. Not exactly a super brilliant color, but it definitely does the trick. I have whole flower Blue Lotus Tea that I bought from Etsy, and it was more expensive than the stuff that I'll be reviewing today, but I'll be reviewing the whole flower stuff in a future video. I will say that I like to mix them both because I think they work well together. The flower has a salty mineral smell, a lot like dried psilocybin mushrooms. You're gonna wanna steep that for seven to 10 minutes. Not longer than that because then it starts to taste bad. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot, hot. Looks a little weird, doesn't it? The tea itself is a much milder version of the same scent, much more pleasant. Tea tastes much better than the flower smells. The tea tastes closer to the way the tea smells. It's earthy, like a fall forest after the first rain. Better than expected, but not as good as green or black tea, in my opinion. But it has its purpose. It's not there for the taste. It's there for the feeling. Cheers. It does taste kind of mushroomy. Next benefit, it can induce psychoactive effects. In ancient societies in areas like India and China, and particularly Egypt and the Middle East, blue lotus tea was used as a beverage consumed to induce general euphoria and enhanced hallucinatory effects. In tea form, it offers a mild psychoactive effect, inducing a feeling of relaxing and calm happiness. I definitely, this is me talking, definitely experienced this when I drank the whole teapot during this review, that's for sure. So I'll be back in a few minutes and tell you how I feel. And I'll tell you what, I'm already feeling something. Oh, I had to change my shirt because I was feeling hot. Hot and bothered, that is, in more ways than one. You know, they say that Blue Lotus is an aphrodisiac, and man, are they right. I just saw this cute, tall, blonde girl walking down the street earlier, and man, that has me going now. But aside from the blood flow and urges directing themselves down to my loins, I'm feeling great in multiple ways. I feel warm and bubbly from deep within. I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm giggly and I'm not usually like this. I feel, I'm buzzing. I'm straight buzzing <laughs> to, to quote the chavs of Britain. I'm buzzing, mate. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna try Blue Lotus, I definitely recommend you wait for it to cool and chug it like I did because man, you get the full experience. And I've got kind of an empty stomach right now, and I think that makes it even better. I just feel, I feel this euphoria that's washing its way up and down my spine, through the back of my head. My head is feeling a little bit fuzzy, but I'm still able to, to articulate myself. I still feel clear-headed and clear-minded. I'm very relaxed. Can't forget to breathe. <laughs> 
forgetting to breathe a little bit. <laughs> oh man, feeling a little bit dreamy in a good way. I also heard it helps with dreams, induce lucid dreams and whatnot. I drank some last night a few hours before bed and I didn't have any lucid dreams. Maybe I need to drink it closer to bed, but I can't be drinking liquids that close to bed, otherwise I'm peeing all night. And it's a problem, because I need sleep. But yeah, I have this chronic issue with anxiety and OCD and ADHD. And that's why I'm constantly experimenting with all these different herbal teas and uh, herbs and nootropics to help me cope with these uh, problems that I have psychologically. And I'd say that this is a good thing to try sometimes. I mean, I like to keep a variety so that I don't get too hooked on one particular thing. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Blue Lotus Tea. I don't really see why it's illegal. I, I don't feel that high. I, I mean, I feel a little bit high, but <laughs> it's nothing. It's just like tea. It's no big deal. But yeah, I normally have some tension in my shoulder. That doesn't feel so bad. Yeah, I'm about to go on a, a little trip to get some footage somewhere, so looking forward to that. Quick update, I'm feeling a slight headache right here. I don't know what that was all about. It doesn't usually happen, but it's gone now. So I think everything's fine. So I just wanted to add that for the last couple weeks, I've been using this Blue Lotus tea on an almost daily basis to help me wean off of Kratom. More on this in a future video, but Blue Lotus Tea is one of the many things that I'm using to help make my journey to 100% independence comfortable and simple as possible. Catboy Herbals is here to share this with you. So overall, tea, Blue Lotus Tea, I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Or maybe a 9.5. 4 out of 10 or something. I, I don't want to get too... I don't want to discredit myself, you know? So it, I'm going to reserve a 10 out of 10 for something really special, but this is pretty special, so... I don't know how that rating thing is going to work. Maybe I just won't rate stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Meow. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get right whiskey, I surely will die. Mm -hmm.